Well, hey there, everybody. This is my somewhat unboxing. I guess it's already unboxed, so it's more of a review. A first look at my Gerber Fiskars of Finland. Hatchet. I didn't know if you could see that written on there. It's got a hollow fiberglass filled plastic handle super lightweight really front heavy which you want a hatchet or an axe to be uh comes with this sheath that does work it, this thing turns so it locks the hatchet in place and i mean it's secure it ain't going nowhere but you can just barely get your fingers in there to hold it and it has a like, you can slide a belt through it if you want to wear this on your side, but, I mean, it's kind of ridiculous looking. It's a fine sheath for, like, hanging on a shop wall, or if you were going to throw this little hatchet, like, in your back of your truck or something like that, toolbox. But I was hoping for a better sheath than that. Kind of let down by the sheath that it came with. Okay, what I know about these is they are made by Fiskars of Finland. And I guess Gerber bought Fiskars from what I heard. Or they're licensed to sell them or whatever, but I think Gerber bought them. But these are still made in Finland. It's got it's some kind of a hardened steel head on it. Like most axes are made with. I don't think it's any special steel or anything. It has some black kind of like powder coat on it to protect it. And when you get it, it's not super sharp, but I think that's because of the powder coat being on the, the blade. Like if you file that off or sand that off, you'd have a sharper axe. It's nine inches long. I think it has just under a three inch cutting blade right there. And uh, nine inches from here to here. Hollow handle. This is meant to be worn on your belt or thrown into a haversack or a, a bug out bag. A nice little emergency backpack hatchet. And it does, it, I'm sure it'll do the job just fine. It has a hammer pommel on it. There's a lot of reviews of these and people swear that they hold up for years and years. Some of the reviews out there... The people have had these for like five, six years and have used them vigorously. And they look pretty, I mean, other than being a little dirty, they look like they held up quite well. So, I mean, that's pretty nice. It does come with this kind of lame sheath. And there's not a lot of sheath options out there. So, I was searching around. And I ultimately found this one. I got it on Amazon. It was like, uh, I can't remember, 15 bucks or something like that. But it just has a snap. It's thick leather. The picture on Amazon, you would think that it was uh, like light uh, suede, but it isn't. It's kind of like tool leather, like a tool belt would be made out of. It's got a nice belt loop on it. Not too big. But it would fit up to a two inch belt pretty easily. It's riveted decently. It's a heavy sheath. It's got a snap closure on it. So take a little while to break that in. But the hatchet does fit in it just fine. Okay, it's kind of hard to do this one handed, but you slide that through the bottom there. And then you snap the snap. And it's in there. It's just slightly big for the head of this hatchet, but it does work. I think I would have preferred like a black nylon, like less conspicuous sheath. But even though the axe can rock it like this a little bit, it's not going to fall out. It's way too big to fall out. These rivets are going to hold that in just fine. And this is a nice heavy duty sheath, so... It's not like you're getting gypped on the sheath or anything. So you can wear this on your belt now and actually have a belt hatchet. And you can see the axe fits it pretty good. I mean, it's 
It's not like it's horribly oversized or anything. And it pops right out of there. If it was on your side, you'd be able to just reach down and lift it right up out. But I'm having issues today trying to do this with my left hand. There we go. But that's something to think about. If you order it, you're going to have this sheath. And you can wear this on a belt. So, I mean, just to throw in a backpack, a lot of people would probably be just fine with that sheath. I actually wanted a better sheath. And so I opted for this aftermarket sheath. And yes, the name does slip my mind. But if you type in like uh, sheaths for a Gerber backpack axe, it brings it up on Amazon. And it's got a sticker on it that you can peel off. Just basically telling you to be cautious and bystanders to be cautious when you're chopping with this little hatchet. It's really front heavy. I bet you it's close to three pounds. But it's like all the weights up front. It's so small you can choke up on it too and do some carving tasks and everything. Like I said, it came sharp, but it's not razor sharp because of the black powder coat. Like you'd have to... Uh, sand that off if you wanted to get it to a razor sharpness but i'll do a quick paper cutting test and that'll probably do it okay here it is here's the sheet of paper it doesn't seem like it works too good on the edge like it seems like it might be a bit dull when you try to cut paper that way but if you cut right dead center Slices it like butter. But not too not too shabby considering. So little work on the blade and it'll be much sharper. Well, if you want to go all stealth and tactical out there in the field, you could get a Mora Bushcraft black, which I don't have, but this is a Mora black i think it's the uh robust in black it's got a little plastic on it from opening packages all right there it is i think it's the i think it was the robust with the black paint job on it rubber handle but either way it's a lightweight nice little nice little knife to go with your gerber fiskers of finland belt hatchet or you could church it up a little bit and have your Mora Garberg and your little Mora Eldris, which looks pretty good with this set. Tell me that isn't a little dynamite combination. Wear all that on your, you could have this on your neck, this and this on your belt, you'd be good to go. Or you could go with a Martini of Finland knife. Since the little hatchet here is made in Finland also. And then you would have your little blacked out Finland set. Well, I hope this gave you some ideas of what you might want to do. This is Joe Doomsday signing out.